to be an astronaut who has just landed on the moon. Betty is the goddess of the moon, and the rest of you are stars. Now, Rue Bear, you're on the left with Betty and Laura on the right. Oh, uh, which side is left, Floppy? This side is right, Rue Bear. Oh, oh I see now. No, this is ridiculous. You can't even tell right from left, and we open the day after tomorrow. Of course, I wanted to present our moon story tonight, because tonight there's going to be an eclipse of the moon, but we haven't practiced enough. Oh, uh, let's practice tomorrow. I want to see the eclipse of the moon. I've never seen one in my whole life. I bet you want to see the eclipse of the moon, too, don't you, Floppy? Well, I would like to. Then why not practice tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be ready if we really work at it tomorrow. Coming here soon, an eclipse of the moon. All right, we'll all watch the eclipse, but that leaves a lot of work for tomorrow. Rue Bear, if you stay and help, the rest of you are free to leave now. Hooray! I'm ready to take pictures of the eclipse from start to finish. Good. Miss Lewis says she'll print your pictures on the cover of her magazine. I'm all set to go. What is an eclipse of the moon? Well, I don't know. It's when the shadow of the Earth falls on the moon. You mean the Earth has a shadow? I'll make you a drawing. This is the sun, and the Earth goes around it like this. And while the Earth is going around the sun, the moon is going around the Earth. When the Earth is between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the Earth hides the moon. This is called an eclipse of the moon. I see now. Ah. Hey, think of that. The Earth is moving around the sun. Well, I hope they start it soon. I'm getting sleepy. How come Floppy and Ruby are out here yet? Watch. It's going to start now. lovely girl came from. Maybe she was some kind of dream the eclipse of the moon gave us. Why are you two standing there on the bridge? The eclipse is over. You look as if you were hypnotized or something. Or as if you'd seen something mysterious. Yes, I don't understand. We saw a sparkling girl named Diana. Diana? That's the name of the goddess of the moon. Goddess, goddess of, of the, the moon? moon? <laughs> that 
That was no dream we had. She was the real goddess of the moon. Hey. You two must be seeing things tonight. Come on, let's get started. I want to be my to be? You're the moon goddess, Betty, so I think you should stand in the middle. Right about here? I'll stand over here. No, that's my plane. I'll be the moon going around the earth. No, no, no. I'm the earth going around the sun. Oh, wow. Oh. Ruby and Floppy aren't here yet. They're acting funny today. It was about here we saw her. Oh. It's you, Floppy. What are you doing here? Uh oh, well, well, I, I. How about you, Rubear? Oh, nothing. I, I was just wandering around it. Mm. Oh, I no, know you're looking, looking for, for Diana. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she was just a dream, part of the eclipse of the moon. I guess so, but. Hey, listen. How come you're not practicing your part in the play? How come you're not? <gasps> <gasps> So you know each other already. This is my granddaughter, Diana. No, she wasn't a dream. She's real. How do you do? How do you do, Diana? Grandpa, you must be getting tired. Let's go home now. Wait! Hey! hey. Uh, let me help! I'll carry this! Thanks very much. No, no trouble, trouble at all! all. doing over there? Rubear, Floppy, are we supposed to be practicing the play right now? Oh, I'm too busy for that, Betty. Go ahead and practice if you like. <gasps> Grandpa's home isn't far from here and we can carry the parcels. Don't keep them waiting. Well, they don't mind waiting. Just pay no attention to them. <gasps> huh. My granddaughter's visiting from far away. I'm Diana. How do you do? <gasps> so she was real after all. She's here on Earth. Let's be on our way. Time's wasting. I'm sorry. They'll be right back. Take all the time you want. You've already ruined our practice of the play. I'm fed up with this moon goddess stuff. <clears throat> Thanks so much for your help. It, it was, was nothing, nothing at all. all. Oh, Floppy, Betty says she's quitting and she went home and left her crown behind. That's terrible. She can't just leave like that. She's the star of the play. No, no need to worry. Diana can play the part of the goddess of the moon. <gasps> what a good idea. Oh, but I can't. She'll be perfect. Oh, she really looks like a goddess. You're all just a bunch of silly idiots. Oh, no, I can't do it. Please, Diana. There's nobody else that could play it like you. I'll give you my decision this evening. That's fine. fine. We'll, we'll wait. wait. All Whoa. right. You're being mean to Betty. Betty goes, we all go. Oh, then we can't do the play at all. You hurt Betty's feelings, Rubert. Wouldn't it be better if we dropped the whole thing? <laughs> Leave if you want to. Diana and I will do the play alone. I oh, can't stop it. I can't stand it. What do you mean, just you and Diana? Oh. oh, it's Mr. Rabbit. Diana asked me to deliver this letter to you. I'm sorry, but I must return to my distant home tonight. I heard your play is a great success. Goodbye, Diana. <gasps> She's gone to the moon. I brought Betty back for the play. Hello, Betty. Diana sent you this present. Oh, is it for me? Wow! Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh. Diana's all alone now, dancing on the moon. Thank you, Diana. You've taught me how to play the goddess of the moon. Now, everybody, take your positions. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. start the practice. Yeah, hooray! Thank you. Bravo, that was great. 
<laughs> Guess Diana's up there dancing now. Diana was a dream girl for both of us. <laughs> to make a crash landing. If I hadn't, the plane would have hit you children. Hey, Doctor, were you on your way to visit one of your patients when this happened? Well, of course I was. I never fly that old jalopy of mine for any other reason. Well, Dr. Flight, I'm sorry our children have been the cause of delaying your mission. I'll arrange for another plane to take you to your patient. Don't do anything of the sort, Mr. Koala. I make it a rule never to fly in any plane but my own jalopy. She may have been an old wreck, but I always felt safe in her. But, Doctor, your jalopy is in no condition to fly now. And your patient probably needs you badly. You've got to get to him as quickly as possible. Oh, it won't hurt my patient to wait. In fact, it'll do him good. I don't know what you mean. The patient I was on the way to visit ate six big slices of eucalyptus cake, and now he has a stomach ache. No wonder. The stomach ache isn't very bad, and he'll get over it soon. Maybe this will teach him a lesson. Well, I'm glad the situation isn't too serious. That will give us time to repair Dr. Flight's plane. I wonder if it's possible. We'll fix your plane no matter how much work it takes. Ha! Out of the question. My poor old jalopy is scattered all over the countryside. We could put it back together if we had the plan they used when it was built. I'm pretty sure this was an old model 38B. Hey! I think I've got the plan for 38B. My father gave me a whole bunch of plans he didn't need anymore. And I'm almost sure I saw the plan for 38B among them. It's a start, anyway. I'll run home and get it right now. While I'm gone, why don't you kids gather up all the parts that are scattered around and bring them back here? Okay. That's fine. I'll help, too. Keep having a pretty stuck. up my hobby, Mr. Koala. How do you mean, Duck Bill? Now collecting old pieces of junk somebody's thrown away. That's a very interesting piece of junk you just picked up there. Well, this isn't junk. It's an important part of a plane that belongs to a friend of mine. Okay, here's the plan. All we have to do is put the parts together according to this plan. Where did Rubear get to? <laughs> now Rubear's the one with the stomach ache. The doctor's looking at her. Oh, my knee hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't exaggerate. It's just a little bit. <laughs> okay, who's next? I got this big bump on my head a little while ago. <laughs> oh, let me see. <laughs> 
Some other words fell off on the way over here. <laughs> Come on, Pammy. We'll go and help put the plane back together. Mm-hmm. Don't bother even trying. You'll never get it to work. Splendid. It warms my heart to see the children helping like that. It's wonderful. Yes, it'll make a heartwarming story for my magazine, as long as you get lots of pictures. Leave that to me. Hey, you guys, I'm running out of parts. There's nothing to work with, so hurry up. But Floppy, there aren't any more parts. You used them all up. What? That's impossible. Hey, that's funny. The plane is a long way from being finished. Parts are missing. Very strange. <gasps> Bobby, let me have a better look at those plans of yours. Here. Oh, my goodness, Floppy. This is the plan for Model 38A. Dr. Flight's plane is Model 38B. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I brought the wrong plan. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to bother with it. I think you should give up. Oh, no, Dr. Flight, we're not quitting. We'll find the extra parts for your plane, even if we have to use whatever junk we can find. Scrap metal and junk? That's no way to build a plane. Well, remember, your plane was pretty junky even before the crash. What do you mean by that? Now, now, Dr. Flight, after all, you did call your plane Jalopy. I know, but putting it back together properly is beyond their power. Now, children, what you've done is fine, as far as it goes. We need more spare parts, so everyone go look for them. Is that all you could find? It's really discouraging. There's just no junk around. We looked everywhere, and that's all we could find. Oh, strange. Look at those long junk people drive. Maybe somebody else went around and collected all the junk before we got there. Who could that be? Duckfield! <laughs> I see. His plane crashed. You didn't tell me that. We need a lot more material to work with, and you've got it all. You're welcome to anything I've got. You really don't mind giving it up? Silly question. The only reason I collect junk is in the hope that it'll be useful to somebody someday. Oh, that's very helpful of you, Bill. And so much stuff we can use, it'll fit right in nicely. Come on, everyone, let's get busy and gather it up. Well, it may be a strange-looking plane, but who cares? Gee, thanks, Bill. You sure saved the day. It's nothing. Good. Let's get to work now. I need those pipes here. Gently. Careful. Oh, it's finished. I sure hope Dr. Flight will like it. Oh, I'm sure you will. Huh? Oh. Dr. Flight, your plane's ready. It's ready? Oh. What's that contraption? You call that an airplane? You'll never get me up in that. Everybody would laugh at me. Please, wait. Wait, Dr. Flight. The children worked so hard to put it together. Won't you please at least come and take a look at it? It's even got a bed. And just behind you is the bathroom. You can take hot baths. And you can land the plane on water, too. It's such a splendid plane. I'll have to stop calling it my jalopy. I think I'll call it the Flying Kids Craft. <laughs> Bye, Dr. Bye, Dr. Bye. Now I can keep up my reputation as a flying doctor. I'll drop in to see you again soon. Flying Dr. Flight has a plane that suits him. It's a masterpiece. A masterpiece we put together. He's calling it the Flying Kids Craft.